National Guard once again has been called in to help safeguard key sites in Philadelphia and help King things from getting out of control. And Matt Petrillo joins us now with that part of our coverage. The National Guard arrived in Philadelphia Monday morning. And it didn't take long for protesters to confront them just outside of City Hall. Dozens of demonstrators held signs and cursed at the soldiers, but the guard showed restraint. What you're seeing across the country right now is unlike any of us have seen. While Monday has seen chaos, so far it does not compare to the looting, vandalism, and arson that happened across much of the city over the weekend. Now Philadelphia police are working to figure out exactly who coordinated all the violence. They have counter tactics, they have gone dark, and they're very smart in how they do this. This is very coordinated. So a lot of the strategies and practices of the past don't necessarily work, and we have to be even more uh, strategic in how we do that. Today we found City Hall fenced off and surrounded by police. Officials say Dilworth Park is expected to be closed until June 15th, the earliest. We've already cleaned up all of Dilworth at this point. Uh, we've boarded up all the windows. We're assessing the damage. Some of the damage includes a fire that engulfed the Starbucks on the skirt of City Hall over the weekend. Today you can see much of the building remains charred, but Eyewitness News has learned that Starbucks will reopen, and stores in the shopping district, which were set to open Friday, are now expected to open in mid-June. What happened here was completely gratuitous, unnecessary. And by the numbers Philadelphia police tell us, the city saw over the weekend 150 acts of vandalism and nearly 250 commercial burglaries. More than 400 arrests were also made. I'm Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.